Larry Milliette sent messages to spellcasters in the weeks leading up to Maya's disappearance. We've heard about those, but now we have the entirety of those messages. Let's get into it. I would like a powerful love spell to bind my wife, May T. Milliette, to me forever. Also, for her to love me unconditionally as I love her, to keep her from hurting our family even further. She has become very promiscuous and selfish. She is only concerned about her happiness and disregards the happiness of her family. Our three young children are being affected. She would rather go out with friends or probably meeting up with the third party. She has prioritized her work. She leaves me with our children whenever she is not working and puts no effort into spending time with them. Please see the details below. I have worked with Priest Wisdom and Dr. Maui from Nigeria with no results. Two spellcasters mentioned that someone has put a negative spell or voodoo on our relationship. Could be Jamie's wife when she found out about their relationship. Please cast the most powerful spell. You guys are my last hope. She has since not yet filed, but afraid I might report them at her employment. That's why she hasn't yet. Please help me. Please cast the best spell for my situation. Thank you so much in advance. Very respectfully, Larry I. Miliete. Again, thank you. Hi, Lilith. Do you have any spells that can manifest to cause physical harm? Very respectfully, Larry Miliete. If you were able to cast a spell for an accident to cripple or cause bodily harm, without killing maybe? If possible. Can you give someone cancer? Good afternoon, Lilith. I respectfully ask you to please recast or boost. Jamie still works at SWMRC and has not been punished. Please make him suffer tenfold in everything he does for his entire lifetime. Hoping to be cut short if possible. Thank you, Lilith. Very respectfully, Larry Miliete. So the spell. I'd like to focus on dominating her and for her to obey me. She needs to start listening to me as the head of the household. I no longer can trust her decision making. I would also like to reinforce intimacy, being nicer and more loving to me and our children. We need her to put us first above all, especially her job and friends. Banish everyone else. Just keep everything professional. Also, banish that phone usage. Is this something doable? Also, please reinforce making her horny for me only. She kept rejecting me and continues to do so. Good afternoon, Lilith. Is there a spell you can cast to incapacitate or make May not want to keep leaving me and my kids behind? Can you make her sick so she has to depend on us for care? I'm just at my wit's end trying to appease her and making sure our family stays whole. She left me again today and scheduled Jeep runs, gatherings, and trips. All of this COVID is killing people. She's taking unnecessary risks. Please let me know. Also, please boost the dominating and obey me spell, please. She just doesn't listen. Please have her not ever wanting or having divorce or separation as an option. Hang her her mind now from wanting one. I want her to love me unconditionally and be interested, obsessed, and desire me always, sexually, emotionally, mentally. I want her to actually try and make our marriage work, bind us together forever in a happy relationship. Thank you. Please don't abandon me. She's telling me that she just wants to co-parent, but not as husband and wife. Okay. She's really going at it with me, treating me like a doormat. I'm shaking inside, ready to snap. May is really out of control, and that's an understatement. I really try and stay calm to be the better person, but too much is too much. Lilith, make her realize that we are meant to be with each other. Make her miserable without me. Make her want to sleep on the same bed, please, for all of eternity. Can you remove or stop hexing my wife, May? Instead, hex Jamie of San Diego, California. He's 29 to 31 years of age. He works at SWMRC. Hi, Miss Pagan. Please cast the strongest hex on Jamie. I've placed another order. As always, thank you for your help and service. Now, the defense wants us to believe that those are messages from a desperate husband that loved his wife unconditionally and would do anything to keep her, even if it meant something as bizarre as reaching out to spellcasters in an attempt to save his marriage. Me personally, I think it shows how deranged and out of touch with reality he is. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.